A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. And we can report to you that police have now identified a school shooter as Adam Lanza, a shooter who killed 26 people today at the Sandy Hook Elementary School here in this small Connecticut town. Nancy Lanza, a teacher at the school and the mother of the suspected shooter, was also killed, but she was found dead in her son's home in Newtown. Adam Lanza, the 24-year-old brother, um, Ryan Lanza, was taken into police custody. Ryan Lanza taken into police custody for questioning in Hoboken, New Jersey. Earlier today, officials have not labeled him a suspect, but he was taken away in handcuffs. His brother Adam died at the scene, but police are not saying at this point if he killed himself. Police did, uh, did say that they did not discharge any of their weapons, and yet he was dead on the scene. A law enforcement source is also telling CNN that the shooter in this horrible tragedy was dressed in, quote, black battle fatigues and a military vest. The principal of this school, Don Hochsprung, was also among the dead. The school psychologist also killed in this shooting rampage. In black military fatigues and a military type vest. We also know that they discovered at least three weapons on the scene, two handguns, and in fact, a, what a Glock, right, um, a, Glock. a Sig Sauer, and a Bushmaster 223. Exactly. Now the Bushmaster 223 is a semi-automatic weapon, and uh, we have pictures of that to show you the type of weapon it is, not the weapon in question, of course. But now we have yet to find out, for example, where those weapons came from. Were they legally purchased? Were they stolen? To whom were they registered? Where did they in come fact, from? In so fact, we've had some breaking news just in the last uh, while um, that, in fact, those weapons, at least, I believe, two of them, were registered uh, to the mother, Nancy Lanza. It's a very distressing detail, but it is indeed. at least two of those weapons, uh, in fact, let me, let me change that, at least three of the weapons registered to Nancy Lanza. And of course, her body was found at a residence right here in the area. Uh, this like is an odd, an odd development is. because it Susan is. and I have been trying to piece together uh, when the police said that the shooter killed someone he lived with. And then we've now found out that Nancy Lanza was found in her son's home. Exactly. Putting two and two together, you'd want to come to a conclusion, but they are not releasing and it, and it may very well be the mother's home. And they say the suspect's residence, well, it may be very well be where both of right. them live together. And so that, again, makes one wonder, well, what prompted all of this? Was there something going on? It's, it's hard not to speculate. The confusion as well, um, Susan, throughout the day, the name Ryan Lanza was being reported. Um, fast and furiously, this is the brother who was taken away in handcuffs from the apartment in Hoboken for questioning, not under arrest and not a suspect. That's right. But for a long time, people were suspecting that Ryan Lanza might be the shooter, not the shooter, according to police. That's right. There was conflicting information even among law enforcement authorities for hours now. Uh, finally, it seems to be sorted out that, in fact, it is Ryan, as you said, who is led away for questioning, not considered a suspect. Uh, but they wanted to find out what, what they could about his brother. Do we and know it, anything uh -huh. about this family? I mean, the police have said that apparently Adam Lanza uh, did not have a criminal record. And yet this is one of the most horrific crimes perpetrated in the most horrific way. Do we know anything else about the, the family dynamics? Well, we have been learning more about... Uh, a bit about the brother, Adam, the shooter in this case, but um, we are still trying to get that confirmed with additional sources before we put that out officially. But we do know, for example, that the, the father of uh, both of them uh, is uh, was divorced from Nancy Lanza, the school teacher and the, and the boy's mother. And did not live at this residence. Uh, the father did not live at this residence, but in fact he has remarried and does live in this area of, of, of Newtown, Connecticut as well. Um, this has become a multi-state investigation. Police were searching a home in Hoboken, New Jersey earlier on today and ultimately took 24-year-old Ryan Lanza in for questioning. He was handcuffed as they led him away. He is believed to be the brother of the suspected shooter. They are not saying at this time he's a suspect in anything, just that he's uh, wanted for questioning. My colleague John Berman is live in Hoboken. Tell me exactly what the police think any connection might be and why he would have been handcuffed. John. You talked about that picture we saw earlier of Ryan Lanza being led from this apartment in handcuffs. He was taken in for questioning. Also, CNN has learned taken in for questioning 
two roommates, apparently, of Ryan Lanza. Brought in for questioning. They are not believed to be connected in any way uh, to the suspect, Adam Lanza. The uh, Hoboken police were here. Jersey City police were here. There was a bomb squad here. FBI were here. The FBI actually removed some materials from this apartment, including perhaps a computer. But at this point, it is now clear that the shooter was not Ryan Lanza. It was his brother, Adam Lanza. Ryan, we believe, is still in custody. It's a five-story uh, five apartment building, two- and three-bedroom apartments. Hoboken, you know, it's a hip city right now. A lot of people with young families here. Young people live here often, work in New York City. Ryan Lanza, 24. We don't know a whole lot about him. We still believe he is in custody, uh, but not not apparently the shooter, uh, as had been reported for a long time today. A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. As we know now, 20-year-old uh, Adam Lanza is also dead in that school, the shooter apparently. His brother, 24-year-old Ryan Lanza, taken in for questioning from Hoboken, not a suspect, but in for questioning. And Nancy Lanza, the mother of those two boys, found dead in her son's residence here in Newtown. They arrived to carnage. The killer says a law enforcement source with detailed knowledge was dressed for battle in black fatigues and armed for mass murder with two pistols and a military-style rifle. In parts of the school, students were told to hide in corners. Teachers risked their own lives to pull boys and girls to safety. The dead believed to include Sandy Hook school psychologist and the principal. Police discovered another adult victim, the gunman's mother, reportedly at home in Newtown. The gunman, too, is dead. Police say they fired no shots. And so much we have learned since this morning. Right now, there is still an active crime scene. Many of the bodies still where they fell, still inside that school, including that of the killer. We do at least tell you his name once. It's Adam Lanza. And as we said, we won't be saying it much tonight. He was 20 years old. His mother taught at the school. She was found dead at the family home, unclear when or how she died. We do know that she bought the weapons her son used today. She purchased them legally. We also know that police today in Hoboken, New Jersey, took the killer's older brother in for questioning. They did not label him a suspect. No word at this hour whether he's still in custody. Uh, the priority that we have right now is identifying the victims. Uh, there are, as we said, there are 18 children in there. There are six adults. And there's the uh, shooter. We need to positively identify each one of the victims. Medical examiner's office is working this right now to begin that process. And we're certainly hopeful that we can accomplish that by sometime in the early morning hours. So do you mean to tell me that the bodies of the children and those who've been killed are still where they fell? That's correct. And yes. they will still be there until Sunday? Yes, they will. Have you allowed any of the parents to see their children? No, this is, this is a crime scene. What we need to do is we need to identify them. We have a tentative identification on all of them, but we need to positively identify them, and we're doing that for the parents as quickly as we possibly can. First of all, we have not identified anyone. I want to make that perfectly clear. We, we will not identify anyone until we have them positively identified, but we are working with other law enforcement partners uh, as needed. As our investigators cross a line and determine they need information from somewhere out of state, regardless of what it might be, we'll get our law enforcement partners from that state to accomplish that task for us. Uh, there have been uh, issues in, in New Jersey and other states where our investigators have contacted state police agencies in those states to assist us in this case. Well, at this time, we're not really going to comment on the family. Uh, as uh, Lieutenant Vance said, we're not confirming any identities at this time until we're sure positively uh, who we have here. And uh, we're going to try to do that for you tomorrow. We can. We uh, Again, we... We can't discuss at this point in time anything to do with any of the victims or any of the deceased whatsoever until we're prepared to do so. We anticipate that will be tomorrow, uh, but we would rather, for investigatory reasons, withhold that information uh, at this time. A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. Breaking news, you're looking live at a community in mourning and shock after one of the worst mass shootings in American history. Here's what we know. At around 9.30 this morning, a gunman walked into Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, and opened fire. Police say he killed 20 children, young children from 5 to 10 years old. The shootings took place in two rooms of one section of the school. He also killed at least six adults before killing himself. Police found the body of the suspect's mother at his home early in the day. We're learning he's 20-year-old Adam Lanza. We know, according to our sources, that for whatever reason, when he came to the school this day, he was wearing what's described to me as black battle fatigues and a military vest. 
He came armed with three weapons, two of them handguns, one described as a Glock, another one described as a Sig Sauer, and a third one where the police found in the vehicle, those two weapons were found on him in the school. The third one was found, the Bushmaster, which is a semi-automatic, uh, and it was found in a car outside the school. Now, what led him to this? We don't know. We do know this, that police have questioned both his brother and his father. His brother was taken into custody for questioning only as not being called a suspect from his apartment in Hoboken, New Jersey. Now, we understand that the father was also uh, questioned by authorities here in the Newton, Connecticut area. The father is uh, divorced from Nancy Lanza. Now, she is the mother of the two who is a school teacher and who is counted among the dead. Her body was found in a residence here in the Newton area as well. Now, believe it or not, Pierce, those weapons, according to authorities, were owned by the mother, mm -hmm. Nancy Lanza, in this case, not by the shooter. So still trying to piece together a motive. There are signs we are hearing from our sources that the shooter may have suffered from some kind of personality disorder. Uh, I, I had the uh, honor of working in the same, same school system and, and very close proximity to Dawn, uh, who passed away today. Uh, she was a teacher in, in the Danbury Public School System and then elevated up through the ranks and eventually ended up a principal here in Newtown. And tonight, police have identified the killer as Adam Lanza. This is his brother, Ryan Lanza, being taken into questioning today. We'll have much more on the shooter ahead. I received a call from the school what system, you, from the superintendent, the, saying that there was a shooting in Newtown, but didn't say that it was a school, but that the schools were on lockdown. So I wasn't too concerned because um, I didn't know where it happened. And then I received a text on my phone from uh, a news organization and they said that Sandy Hook School, um, there had been a shooting. Very lucky indeed. The gunman has been identified as Adam Lanza. And joining me now from London is Lanza's former classmate, Alex Israel. Uh, Alex Israel, thank you for joining me. Uh, you knew uh, this character. Is this something that you could have ever predicted, that he would one day flip and do something as monstrous as this? I mean, I don't know if you can ever predict something like that would, would happen. You you really never think that it's going to happen to your school, somewhere where you live and you've lived your whole life. But um, I don't know if I could have predicted it. I mean, there was something off about him. I really only knew him closely when we were very, very young, um, when we were in elementary school together. Um, and I mean, he was always a little bit different. He mostly stuck to himself. But I, I don't know if you can say that you could have predicted this. He, he was, by all accounts, a pretty clever young man, particularly in maths, almost yeah. a sort of genius, apparently. Of that. Tell me about that side of him. Um, I mean, I, I was never in any of his, of his classes or anything like that, but yeah, you could definitely tell that he was, I, I would say, a genius. Yeah, there was definitely something there that was a little bit above the rest of us.